Alright guys, I'm camping, bringing you guys another video from the cabin. Let me know in the comments if you guys like these videos. I have another chapter to share with you guys, and this chapter is about lust. This is a topic that is not talked about much in the church, but there are so many people struggling with lust, so many people battling pornography, so many people trying to escape from the grip of lust. And so I'm going to read you Proverbs 5. This is from Solomon, one of the wisest people in all of the Bible. And I just want you to hear how relevant these words are. Even though this was written thousands of years ago, Listen to how relevant this is, and if you're dealing with lust or battling lust, there is freedom. There is breakthrough, but I want you to heed this warning. This is Proverbs chapter 5, verse 1, and Solomon says, My son, pay attention to my wisdom. And by the way, if you guys don't know what this is, this is a Bible. It's an actual paper Bible, not like the virtual phone ones. This one you can actually like hold and, and read and highlight. So get your highlighter out, get your Bible out, check this out. Chapter 5, verse 1, My son, pay attention to wisdom and listen carefully to my wise counsel. So Solomon is saying, pay attention for what I'm about to say, verse two, then you'll show discernment and your lips will express what you've learned. And he's gonna talk about an immoral woman lust embodied here. Verse three, for the lips of an immoral woman are as sweet as honey and her mouth is smoother than oil. But at the end, she is a bitter as poison, as dangerous as a double-edged sword. So he goes, at first there's an enticement to lust, there's a drawing into lust, and there's this power that lust has to make you think it, it won't destroy you to make you think it won't ruin everything. But then he says, she's as dangerous as a double-edged sword. And this is where she goes, verse five. Her feet go, sorry, I'm distracted. There's RVs and people driving all around me. Her feet go down to death and her steps lead straight to the grave. For she cares nothing about the path to life. She staggers down a crooked trail and doesn't realize it. This is where lust wants to take you. If you're watching internet pornography, if you're cheating on your wife, if you're fornicating with your girlfriend, if you're sleeping around and you think it's no big deal, the Bible says that she leads down to death, her steps lead down to the grave. Verse seven, so now my sons listen to me and never stray away from what I'm about to say. And then verse eight, he says, stay away from her. Exclamation point. Don't play with lust. This is one of the sins that the Bible says, do not get in the ring thinking you can battle lust thinking you can fight. The Bible says flee from sexual immorality. Every sin you commit is outside the body, but sexual immorality is sin against your own body. Guys, we need to start looking at lust for what it really is. It's dangerous. It will actually lead you to hell. It's not worth it. I'm telling you right now, it's not worth it. Do not go near the door of her house. So it's not even like don't hang out with her and don't sleep with her. Don't even go near the door of lust's house. Don't even get near it. The devil wants you to hang around the door don't even go near the door and for sure don't open the door because you open the door to lust, lust will destroy you. Verse nine, if you do, this is what will happen if you go near the door of her house and, and mess around with lust, you will lose your honor and you'll lose the merciless people you've all you have achieved. You'll lose everything. Strangers will consume your wealth and someone else will enjoy the fruit of your labor. In the end, you'll groan in anguish when disease consumes your body. Now I want you to see the connection here. The adulterous woman, the immoral woman and lust can bring disease upon your body. Look what it says here. Disease will consume your body. It's no joke. You will say how I hated discipline if I only didn't ignore all the warnings. This is a warning for you today. I'm on vacation. My kids are at the water park. I'm in a cabin and I'm, what a weird place to warn you. I'm warning you. Don't mess around with lust. It'll ruin everything. It'll destroy your life. He says the guy that just gets his life destroyed says, how I hated discipline if I only didn't ignore the warnings. Oh, why didn't I listen to my teachers? Oh, why didn't I pay attention to my instructors? I've come to the brink of utter ruin and I may I must face public disgrace. Here's the thing. Whatever you do online will eventually go offline and will ruin your life. And I've seen lust ruin so many lives. Verse 15. Drink water from your own well. Share your only love with your wife. In other words, why are you wanting to go with other people's wives? Look at other people's wives on the internet naked, lust after other women. It says, drink from your own well, enjoy your own wife. Why spill the water of your springs in the streets having sex with just anybody? You should reserve it for yourselves and never share it with strangers. Let your wife be a fountain of blessing for you. Rejoice in the wife of your youth. She's a loving deer, a graceful doe. Let, the breast, let her breast satisfy you. May you always be captivated by her love. Why be captivated, my son, by an immoral woman or fondle the breast of a promiscuous woman? I mean, that's pretty... That's pretty explicit there, I'm just saying. For the Lord sees clearly what a man does, examining every path he takes. An evil man is held captive by his own sin, and they are ropes that catch him and hold him. He'll die for a lack of self-control. He will be lost because of his great foolishness. 
This is all about not allowing, and God sees, not allowing the power of lust to consume you. Guys, I think one thing we need is the fear of the Lord. I think we need to stop messing around with lust, messing around with pornography, messing around with sexual entertainment. If you can't go on TikTok without looking at sexual things or seeing sexual images, get off of it. If you can't get on Instagram without lusting, get off of it. We Guys, we have to break free from the power of lust. I'm so passionate to see young men and women and old as well break free from the power of lust. You can be delivered. You can be set free. Some of you need deliverance. Others of you need discipline. You need to stop getting on the internet late at night. You need to start pursuing righteousness. You need to get the word of God. The more you study the word and the more you pray, the harder it will be to fall into lust and fall into sin. It'll become easy to say no to that internet and that website. Let me, let me say a quick prayer for you. I wasn't going to, but let me pray for you. Father, I pray right now for everybody watching, Lord, that you would just deliver them from the power of lust. Father, we pray that they would overcome this evil spirit of lust. They would overcome God, help them to be disciplined, that you've given us a way out in every temptation. I pray for those watching right now, Lord, that you touch them with the power of your Holy Spirit and that you set them free from the chains of lust. Right now, we, we pray, Jesus, for your power and your anointing to free every person watching this right now. We command the spirit of lust to come off of them in Jesus' name. We just ask for the power of the Holy Spirit, the anointing of the Holy Spirit to touch them right now. Guys, you can get free from this. You can do it. I, I need to come up with some accountability, something to help you guys, because I want to see you free. You young men and young ladies, I want to see you free from lust. It's not worth going to hell over. It's not worth going down to the grave. It will ruin everything. If you're in a relationship nobody knows about, if you're fornicating, if you're sleeping around and you're married, it will come to the light. Everything done in darkness will come to the light. Don't risk it. Don't play with it. Run, flee from lust. God wants to set you free. You can break free from this. I love you guys. I'm here for you. I'm praying for you that you'd get set free from this. Um, I got set free from it the day I got saved and I've never gone back and I know you can too. We have a deliverance map. If you need deliverance, go to deliverancemap.com or isaiahsaddler.com slash deliverance. We're live Monday and Tuesday night, six o'clock. Pray about becoming a monthly partner down below and come to our Monday noon prayer streams where we pray with you guys. I love you guys so, so much. Appreciate you guys. Let me know if you want more videos like this, just spontaneous, random videos going over chapters of the Bible and we will see you guys in the next video. God bless.